Welcome to the Most Cooking Show, everyone. I'm your host, Chef Jason Hugay. And I'm Krista Landry. We're from Steve Warehouse in Washington, Louisiana. We're here with Bobby Cardinal today. He's going to show us how he's going to do his crawfish boil. So y'all stick around for what's cooking. Welcome back, everybody, to the What's Cooking Show. We're here today with Bobby in Opelousas. We are going to let him um, tell y'all how we're going to get started with the crawfish bowl. So, first off, let, let me say this. We're at Bobby's house in Opelousas, and um, you have the most beautiful backyard. It's um, the perfect, perfect place crawfish. to cook, perfect place to ball crawfish, which we're doing today. So uh, what we have in the pot so far and where, where we go? So man, right now we are just rolling some water. water. That's it. Okay, so you use any type of uh, drinking water? Do you use oh, uh, tap water? Or uh, what kind, kind of water do you use? That's one of my secrets, man. I use a special oh, imported water. water. So you start at the water yes. quality yes, first. Yes. Now, where does this come from? Uh, Jose. So this is imported from Mexico? No, that red hose over there. Oh, the hose. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> even though the water's top quality. Yes, yeah, top quality top water, top. straight out the hose. Okay. Just like as a second grader we used to drink. I'm going to have to yeah. drink some That's before right. we leave. That's right, Just yeah. to check it out. That's right. Okay, so got our water going. Yep. We're, we're, when do we begin seasoning our, our So, man, pot. I usually, uh, uh, I'm a, my preference is swamp dust. I uh, usually uh, take my swamp dust. I, I use a whole sack uh of swamp dust per mm -hmm. sack of crawfish per sack. okay so we don't have the vegetables going yet right right but i'm gonna go ahead and dump this in there the so one pack per sack one pack per sack right. now do you add them first like per sack or do you add it all at once no i'm sorry so i put one, one pack per boil so when i start rolling again for another sack put another i add another one and i okay. stir it up good idea yeah and then the second thing I like to use is from our local Targill. Instead of me having to cut 24 lemons, I like to take just some good old lemon oil and be very careful with right, this right. stuff because I can assure you it's, pot it's very potent. So you know, it delicious. doesn't take much. I might take a little bit of a little dash mm -hmm. and uh, something like that. Let that go. A, a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. I can smell exactly. it already. Like yeah, it doesn't take much. So uh, once the water starts rolling, um, I'll give it a quick stir with my paddle, and um, then I'll start adding vegetables once we get to that point. Okay, well, tell us what kind of vegetables do you usually like to sweat in there? Is it the same as all? Or man, the... so I think cr boiling crawfish to me is like a fingerprint. It's a little different for everyone. Um, some people soak. Some people don't soak. Some people put this, they don't put that. And the it. timing on the soak and is it, different. Yeah, timings are the different. The boiling time's different. Absolutely. Things are just different. So right. um, my personal preference, um, I don't eat mushrooms, but my wife would not have me home every night <laughs> if I didn't put mushrooms in there. So um, happy wife, happy life. That's right? it. So uh, Take note. Mushroom? No. Yes, take note. Who are you talking to? <laughs> mushrooms is a staple uh, at the Fontenot House. Most definitely. I love some uh, uh, garlic. Got cloves. Yes, clove, garlic. Feel um, the easier to eat. They are. They are easy to eat. Um, I, I have I have no preference. I can use them this way as they're already skipped, or I can take them the and whole put the head. whole head in there. Right. And once it gets mushy enough, you just push it and it oh, man, slides. Yeah, slides right out. You can eat the, the whole the whole head at absolutely one at a time. Uh, frozen corn. And the reason why I have it frozen is because I'll show you later in the boil timing. Yes, timing, and uh, I like to add a little cold something to it to make it suck up the juice. Yeah. Um, lemons are kind of just for decoration because we already used our lemon oil. Right. Um. My personal preference, how long have you known me, Jason? Uh, long enough. Long enough. enough you like spicy. I like spicy. So what back, I do back is... Back since Popeye's, we would eat yeah, the, the uh, peppers with Popeye's was fried chicken. Two jalapenos, whatever you are. And it was fire. So I'll put these in there for me. I'll let them soak on top of the crawfish while they're soaking. And you put them whole like that? I put them whole just, just like this. And I just bite them as I eat my crawfish. And that's gangster. <laughs> it is. It is pretty, it is pretty gangster. Joey would love that. Yeah, Joey absolutely. would love that. Absolutely. Yeah. Joey. Uh, of course, the little uh, red potatoes. Got to have. Got to have that in every mm -hmm. crawfish ball. And again, wife, wife. So wife. the onions. She has her special little way of making and onions. It has to be that certain way every it time. It has to be the certain way every time. You going to show so, us how to do that? You want me to show you? Yeah, show I'll show us. you. So what she does is, is she skins the onion. She'll cut it in half. I mean, she it's a great idea that foil just keeps it together. Ab absolutely, you know? man. You're not chasing onions all around there. So she drop a little bit of seasoning on them, a little crawfish mm -hmm. boil. 
Same thing, the swamp dust that we're already using in the mix. Can you ball anything in crawfish ball and it be good? I I'm think pretty you can. sure. I think there's yeah. no limit to crawfish ball. No. So I mean, people put sausage, they put celery. That's right. I've seen people uh, take carrots, uh, canned asparagus, and just mm -hmm. poke holes in it and drop it in there. Carrots, carrots, uh, whole. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sliced jalapenos. I've seen jars yeah. of that dumped. Yeah, me too. Like with that. the vinegar. I'm like, with that, it's our bag. Andouille. Oh, what kind of stuff. Absolutely. So I do normally put some sausage, smoked sausage in it. Um, I've seen people put boudin in crawfish. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow. How does that stay I don't, in the case? List. I think what they do is they just, as it's soaking, Okay. Yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll hit it at the end and just let that, it get firm and firm up in there with the heat. That's actually a good idea. Yeah. A lot of people like the grill uh, boudin as well. So yeah. do anything with boudin. Absolutely. As long as it yeah. in the case. Boudin burger. Everything, oh, yeah, everything boudin. All the pistolets. Everything boudin. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So um, we got our water rolling. Uh, probably need to give it a quick stir. And uh, start adding some vegetables to okay, it. Okay, while you do that, we're going to tell everybody where there these ingredients came from. That's perfect. So most of the ingredients you've got to see here, you can find them at your local quick quickly or tap saver. 84 to 10, by the way, one of these door. Can you start to see your five, pet it dry? 948-8199 and 948-9427. Yeah, she... Had to think about that for a second. Yeah, well, you've come a long way. I'm going to tell you, you've come a long way. Thanks, boo. The cheat sheet was a long time ago. <laughs> I still have it. It's hidden somewhere. I still have the numbers in my notes in my phone, but I didn't want Crystal to I uh, destroy I study it. it every once in a while. I didn't want it to destroy it, so <laughs> I really dig in these whole jalapenos. Let's go with a couple lemons. A couple lemons just the decoration. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I said, at the end of the, on, the lemon on oil the, is plenty on spicy the table. enough. Exactly. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get crawfish. Some None. dip we're going to show y'all how to make later, and a dip in the pool, maybe. Uh, if y'all want, I, I mean, think that sounds great. I think I that mean, sounds it's phenomenal. It's kind of chilly out and here, Maybe but... even a cocktail from Crystal? Yeah, we might We might do that. Yeah. I mean, I feel it. Today feels great. That's right. Feels good outside. We definitely do it. So, so, if you notice, I only put the potatoes and the lemons in. Potatoes take a little bit longer. So, stuff like the tender things, like the garlic, these uh, mushrooms, these uh, onions, they don't take nearly as long. And like I said, I'm saving the frozen stuff for that last right. shock effect. When I put them on top of the crawfish. So, like the other aspects is, of crawfish, it's all about timing. Absolutely. The crawfish, the boil, the soak, uh, when you put your, your uh, vegetables in. So, my recipe is not necessarily the right recipe. Like I said, it's like a fingerprint, man. There's my, no right uh, or wrong way to boil crawfish. No, there's not. And um, I was taught by my brother, who was taught by my dad, who was taught by his dad. Okay. And it just kind of passed down and trickled down, and we have our three-minute rolling boil, and we have our 20-minute soak, and we have our little shake in the... Ice chest. And I have had them a few times. I will say they're some of the best I've ever eaten. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you're it's speaking, not the you're best speaking of mine? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. well, that's not the best. a great compliment. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, look, while we're waiting on that, let's take a quick break. We'll yep. come back and we'll, 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 we'll check awesome. on our best. Perfect. Y'all going back. All the cooks. Welcome back, everybody, to the Lick Cooking Show. Um, we are in the process of our crawfish boil, so Bobby's going to tell us where he's at. Yeah, so right now, uh, potatoes are right at the end of the boil. Uh, I like to take them out a little bit early because being on with the crawfish on top of them, they're going to continue to cook. cook. Yeah, exactly. Carry on cooking. So uh, if you don't mind, Jason, you want to help me uh, get these Let's potatoes go. Let's out? Let's do it. I'll hold this pot. Time to get the potato. You can flip this over. I think it's just so easy. Yeah, it's very easy, man. Mm -hmm. You just dump them. I'm gonna catch them. Okay. Should've got a little spoon. Ain't nothing. Yeah. There you go. All day long, all day strong. All day long. Professional chef. That's them uh, tempered hands. He does not burn his hands. How about that, and gentlemen? That's why I got a towel. Gosh. All right. So, I'm gonna I'm cover that up. <laughs> and then, so one more little secret. To my little sauce. Uh, I love to use a really good butter. I know it probably doesn't matter, but I like to use a really good butter. To me, butter, when I add it to the boil, uh, makes them peel a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, a lot easier to clean my pot after. Yeah. So uh, I'll just drop that right in. That's the same thing as uh, but Kerrygold is like one of the best butter you can buy. It, it the is, Irish man. butter. Kerrygold is a very good butter. And uh, uh, Amish roll butter is great too. We love that, Dow. What was the name of it? Um, the Amish roll butter, oh, just yes. one big piece? Yes. yes. 
So um, now that it's ready, uh, Jason, you wanna let's do you wanna it. Show me your muscles. Oh, we're going this way. Okay. So you're gonna have to grab low here. Oh. Good. Got him. Yep. All right. Okay. Da -da. Give him a quick stir. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. the seasoning will get you. The lemon oil definitely the layer sticks out. Yeah. So what I do is give him a quick stir, and I'm gonna get these uh, back to a rolling boil, and then I time them for three minutes. And uh, when we put our mushrooms and corn in, uh, I'm actually gonna add that now. That's a great okay. idea. Yep. Corn for the soap. Yes, so, corn goes for the soap. So, yeah, Crystal. So, very all snack. these ingredients that you see can be found at Fatal Liquid mm -hmm. Cash Saver. Eight Except the crawfish. Well, for um, 84 Can Highway 182 North and 1305 to the drive. 948 8199 and 948 9427. Very so good. So, y'all go check them out. The crawfish boil and boil. We're fixing it. Yep. Sometimes if we don't even have crawfish, we'll just boil at home, just potatoes, corn, oh, yeah, just all to time. get them. Absolutely. The taste. That's right. My grandma told me that. Like, yeah. It's like, what you doing? Where's the crawfish? Oh, no, it's just a little pot on the stove. I'm just eating potatoes and I've corn. I've heard of a crawfish boiled ham. A crawfish boiled what? Ham. Hang out. Yes. Could have done that last night. We Absolutely. Boiled ham. Crawfish boiled ham. Yeah. I think somebody's done a turkey. I've heard of that for, yeah. uh, for Thanksgiving. I've never tried that, but yeah. I would like to. So that's... Uh, you season the water right, you can boil anything. Yeah, as we were saying earlier, like, <laughs> is there anything that's not good in crawfish boil? I don't think so. The I season. don't think so. So while we're waiting on that, actually, let's talk about the antique grill mall in Washington. They're having their sale. Um, it's the yard sale they do twice a year. Uh, they do it in the springtime in April and then in the fall in October. So we covered that uh, uh, last last show. Uh, but they have over 200 vendors outside. Um, we pretty much furnished our, our new home, say new, our, our old historic home we bought last year uh, on, you know, from the Friday we went to right. the, uh, the yard sale. Friday is when everything's there. You wait till Sunday, a lot of the stuff is gone. <laughs> so we went to Friday. It's, Did Crystal it's have crazy. any trouble spending any of the money or no, it was pretty uh, easy? No, uh, the, the trouble was to get her out of there without <laughs> being broke. The easiest thing to do yeah. in my book. Right. We got out of there without going through bankruptcy, so That's we did good, okay. Yeah. Um, you I made was it. fine with that. You made it. Yeah, we, we just just barely. All right, so we're making there, Crystal. Uh, well, today, while we're waiting on this, I think, besides beer, but that's so fun on show. So, my favorite drink with crawfish is a Moscow Mule. Mm. So, I'm going to show you how to make that. Kind of light and refreshing. It's so light and yeah. refreshing. Especially during some time when it's, it's warm outside. Absolutely. Yeah. If you need little, me to taste uh, it when you're done, I don't mind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make sure y'all. Okay, just make sure. Y'all have to let me know if it's good or not. Absolutely. All right. All so right, we're no. getting that fruit prepared, and then we're going to take our fancy little Moscow Mule cup. Yeah, it's fancy, too. It says, says Kettle One on there. Just like the. Yeah, I mean, you sponsored by Kettle One. Is that what's going on? I wish. <laughs> I wish we were. Can you sponsor? Absolutely. Favorite vodka. Yeah, if they're watching, maybe they'll uh, send you a cake. So. A shot of lemon. Kettle one is my vodka, favorite vodka. A shot of regular vodka. Just twirl you. Sweeten lime juice in there, not a lot. Then you'll top oh. it off with Fever Tree ginger beer. Yeah. It's the only ginger beer. The only ginger I beer eat. you want to eat. Absolutely. I've tried it other places and it's they are not the same. Ginger beer is not created equal. equal. Not all of them. Yeah. It needs to be mixed with a good vodka. Right. Yes. So, and okay, now we just. Top it off with a little lemon, a little lime. Best thing about that um, Moscow Mule mug is that when you're eating your crawfish and you're done drinking your drink, <laughs> it cleans well. Absolutely. It's, it's, the, the, the seasoning comes off. Where we stand. Bobby, why don't you tell us where we're at? Man, we are uh, in our boil pretty good right now. I set a timer for three minutes. It looks like I have 29 seconds left. Uh, as soon as that stopped, I'm going to add my frozen goodies. Um, I did have a special request at the break from our uh, lovely cameraman. He it, it, it. loves sausage in his boil, and so do I. Yeah. So I'm gonna add some uh, Leger's deer sausage. Uh, it's mixed 50-50 and it's spicy. Uh, adds a great compliment to that. Oh yeah. Kind of makes it a little bit easier for the peel like as the butter. well. That's the same thing Absolutely, as the butter. Absolutely, same thing as the butter. 
So yeah, so uh, timer's fixing to go off. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it now. Yeah, I'm gonna add all my cold goodies. So three minutes and then we add all the cold stuff. Cold snow. You got some sausage, some corn, and mm. the last secret ingredient. And smells good too. What about the jalapenos? Scott. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's last. Hit them with the ice. And kill the water. Tell them why you do the ice, Bob. So the ice to me, it stops the cook. I don't, I don't like overcooked crawfish. They're really hard to peel. Um, they're just not as fun to eat. I like juicy. We so what this is going to do is this cold ice is going to make these crawfish suck up all this good juice. The stuff that's making us choke is the stuff we want to eat. Yeah. So. That's a trick. That's a trick. To let these bad boys soak. I do a 20-minute soak. I know that seems long. Uh, grab you your favorite cold beverage. That's it. And uh, and so A. How about Absolutely. a Moscow Mule? Get you a Moscow Mule from Crystal. Yes. So uh, I forgot to ask you, where did, did you get these crawfish from? So, I was lucky enough to talk to my friend Grant Abair at Bonanza Boilers. Um, abnormally, he's usually closed. He he met me this morning. He got me a beautiful sack, as you saw. Oh, man, it's some beautiful craw that's huge, size. Huge crawfish. They're already cleaned. Um, I'm not going to try and quote the sale that they have a special going on right now, but I know it is 10 pounds of crawfish for $39.99, and you get corn, potatoes. Mm -hmm. So, you're kind of set up. So, if you're craving crawfish after watching this show, I think you should check out Grand yeah. Bananas and Boy. We also cleaned our crawfish today. Well, these crawfish today, just because it's just a, it's a just normal a tradition. practice, right? Absolutely. So, um, we did that earlier yep. before we actually put the crawfish in. So, That's right. Uh, uh, some people use salt, Jason. Some yep. people don't. I don't. I don't necessarily use salt. I don't use salt either. And I know a lot of people who don't use salt. Again, it's how it's you want to do your crawfish. It's, it's, it's no, like a, it's like a finger. No right or wrong way to Abs do it. Absolutely. Everybody has a different system, and yeah. it works for you. Great. Keep going doing Absolutely. it. Absolutely. If it doesn't. You know what? Try something different. That's it. So you can't really mess it up. Well, it's kind of possible unless you overboil exactly or let them over soak. That's right. You know, some people put them in the ice chest. Yep. And if you if you don't use all the crawfish out of the ice chest and you take another dump, put oh, on top of that. Yes. That's you're cooking those crawfish. One way to ruin a crawfish. You're cooking but those crawfish again. Other than that, exactly. It's kind right. of hard to mess them up. Absolutely. So I guess we will take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll yep. show y'all how to make Bobby's favorite dip. You yeah. know, which is amazing crawfish. Absolutely. How about that? Okay. Sounds great. Well, what's cooking? Welcome back, everybody, to the What's Cooking Show. We are almost done with our crawfish, and we're going to try them out. But first, Bobby's going to show y'all how he's going to finish them off. Yes, so uh, they've been soaking for 20 minutes. I know it seems like a long time, but it was, it's right. definitely going to be worth it. When you're hungry, it's a long time. That's right. So I'm going to pull my bag of all my vegetables out. I like the bag because it keeps everything together. Mm -hmm. I can pick them up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then, Jason, if you don't mind, we're going to pick this up. And dumpy dump, and we're gonna dump as yeah. slow as you can, because I'm gonna just direct everything into the hole. Sure it gets heavy when on that crawfish. Yeah, in. take your time, take your time. <laughs> little by little. Huh? Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? They look okay, Chris. Beautiful. Oh. You think you can get a handle some of these? Or what? <laughs> they gonna eat good? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey. So, man, they are mm -hmm. smelling amazing as well. How about favorite thing to see? At mm -hmm. my house. Yeah. Put a little dust on it? Yes, we uh, are going to dust them. I like to dust my crawfish. As I said before. Oh, I got I got a pocket. You got a knife? I'm not stupid. Oh. Is it a gat knife? <laughs> <laughs> Any knife I have. A gat knife. Good. Nobody in the world knows what we're talking about except me and you. I know. So, I'm going to dust them up. <laughs> I use a whole bag of Orts, extra hot, and don't let the extra hot fool you. It's not that spicy. You need help shaking that thing? If you don't mind, sir. <laughs> I do have a little bus. Show them what you got. You see that? You just went and grab it. You probably do it better by yourself, huh? All right. So, I'll let those sit for about five minutes. And Miss Crystal is going to make my favorite dip. All right. 
So we have some mayo, ketchup, Cajun power, garlic sauce. That's the best wish to share and some lemon juice. We make dip. We don't um, measure. No, we just dip. We just we squeeze. It. Just squeeze. That's how we do recipes in South Louisiana. Yeah. Right. Put some of this, a little of that, some of those. That, that Cajun powers, man. man I love that stuff. It is good, man. I know. So good. You put it on anything. We use it at the restaurant a good bit. I like which chair so I put it. Absolutely. Extra. And like we talked about, lemon and everything. Mm -hmm. So good. So you don't need a lot. Bob, you want to dump these in there, bro? Yeah, if you don't mm -hmm. mind, buddy. Pick you can dump them in there. Cool. Look at them garlic. And so what I did was the potatoes Ooh. and the sausage are actually still mixed in with the crawfish. So mm -hmm. I'm still continuing to cook. That's right. Continuing to cook. That's right. So, Jace, it looks like it's time to take the dip. It's time to take done. And I think you should grab you should. some, and you and Crystal, and have a little sample. i tell you what. How's that sound? Give me some. But only if you uh, bite into one of the big jalapenos. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's the deal. Okay. Cool. Oh, look at that. Look at that monster. That's mine. No, it's not. <laughs> I hold found on, hold it. Hold on, hold on. The deal's a deal. Okay, put that big deal's thing deal. right there. Deal's, deal's a deal. deal. Move all this out the way so we can sample. Bring mm -hmm. in. <laughs> yes. There you go. All right, Jason, uh, show me what you got. That? I'm going to get the big one. Oh, look at the claws. Chris. First of all, I want to show you this. This is what I want y'all to really see. So this is kind of some of the proof of the ice, uh, leaving the juice inside the crawfish. Uh, Every one you bust, you should have a, a nice mouthful of juice, which is <laughs> amazing. You don't waste it. It's like That's a right. good pool boy. It's going down crystals on. That's right. Man, good? A good that crawfish be should time. be able to suck it straight out the tail. No did peeling I, needed. Did I win? You you did an excellent job. Winner. I'm a fist bump because I got crawfish on my hand. So and then how about is this for decoration? Oh uh, no, that's actually uh oh, one I got of my favorite good. things. Go oh, now that's a man. <laughs> Heck yeah. Not too hot. You huh? like it hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby, thank you, man. Appreciate y'all having us here. Your hospitality was great today. Excellent job on the crawfish. As always, I already knew that before we came here today. Thank you, man. But um. You know, wanted to show everybody at home absolutely how it's supposed to be done. You know, that's right. What we do on the weekend. Absolutely, yeah. yes. This is the spot. So, mm -hmm. thank you all for having me, and uh, see you on the next one. Next time, brother. That's absolutely right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. All right. Until next time, y'all join us back for more what's cooking. <laughs>